All right, we are 3-0 and in our last three NFL tier package picks on BrockPage.com. And the link for today's NFL tier package picks is in the description section below. $1,000 betters are up over $2,700 during that stretch. And if you want to see which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally, all the picks that I give out on BrockPage.com, they're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And with that, guys, I just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you're finding yourself enjoying this video here today, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and smash that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. I'd love to connect with you on a daily basis. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some NBA action here. For Super Bowl Sunday, that's Sunday, February 13th, 2022. Happy Super Bowl Sunday to everybody out there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to go ahead and start with the Hawks taking on the Celtics. And that's going to be a 2 o'clock Eastern start time. Very small modified slate here today. Only two NBA games. But uh, we're going to break them down. So let's get into it. Boston is minus 7.5. Totals 222. Now, we've seen some early line movement toward the Celtics and the over in this one. It was a one-point move toward Boston and a one-and-a-half-point move toward the over. So once again, Boston opened six-and-a-half up to seven-and-a-half. Total opened 220 and a hook up to 222 even. And the movement toward Boston has certainly been deserved. Uh, these guys have been red hot lately. They're actually in the middle of a seven-game winning streak. They also went 9-1 straight up in their last 10. When the Celtics play at home, they're actually pretty dangerous. They're 19-10 and 10 straight up at the Garden, and they're in the top three in defending the field goal in front of their home fans. I'll tell you what, uh, this is a team that could potentially beat anybody uh, at the Garden. They can. They've been that good at home. And as a matter of fact, the Celtics are allowing only 102 points a game in Beantown. When it comes to the scoring in this one, Jason Tatum, he's averaging 25.5 points per contest, along with eight boards and four assists. Meanwhile, Jalen Brown, he's scoring over 23.5 points a game himself, along with six rebounds and three assists. And speaking of rebounds, the Celtics currently find themselves in the top three in the league in offensive boards per game. They're taking on a Hawks team who lost three out of their last four they got the W in just 10 out of 26 on the road. Now, even worse than that, the Hawks are covering the point spread in only 34% of those road contests. Now, Atlanta's biggest problem this uh, season has been their defensive play, or lack thereof, however you want to look at it. But uh, major problems on defense. They're actually allowing nearly 113 points a game on the road. And they find themselves in the bottom five in guarding the three ball. Now, injury-wise, Collins is still out. Williams, Wright, and Young are questionable. When it comes to the total in this one, Atlanta saw unders recently with Dallas, Toronto, and this very Boston team. Meanwhile, the Celtics went 80% to the under in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward Boston, minus 7.5, and, and the under, 222. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup of the show. It is going to be Timberwolves versus the Pacers, 3 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Minnesota's minus six with a total at 237.5. And, and when it comes to the line, we're actually seeing movement toward Indiana and the over in this one. Minnesota opened six and a half, down to six. Total opened 236, up to 237.5. That's a half a point move toward Indiana and a one and a half point move toward the over in this one. And as bad as the Pacers have been here lately, they do still have a winning record against the point spread at home this year. And when it comes to the scoring in this one, well, the Pacers still find themselves averaging nearly 113 points a game at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse. And they also find themselves in the top 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Now, Tyrese Halliburton, he dropped 23 points in his Indiana debut, six assists and three steals for the newly acquired Pacer. And of course, Buddy Heald, he also dropped 16 points in his Pacer debut himself. 
nine rebounds, eight assists for Buddy. Now, when it comes to rebounding the basketball, well, the Pacers are actually in the top three in the NBA in defensive boards at home. And when it comes to the injury report in this one, Brogdon is questionable. Jackson is out. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, Edwards and Wright, they are listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the total in this one, the T-Wolves are 23-7 and to the over this season. That's good for 77% in that particular category. Meanwhile, the Pacers are 19-10 and to the over in front of their home fans. And that's good for 66% in that particular category as well. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Indiana plus six. And the over 237 and a half. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. Now, if you're thinking about getting a package here today on my website, just keep in mind we utilize the Patreon platform for my website. So the way they do their billing is uh, they'll actually bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on BrockPage.com, you're going to get billed today and then you're going to get access to those picks all the way through the end of February. You can opt out at any time, but then if you continue to opt in, uh, you're going to get billed again on the 1st of March and then that'll just reload uh, your uh, access to all to uh, you know whatever package you pay for through the end of March. Now, guys, uh, real quick, if you want to get access to every single pick uh, that I give out on that website, you may want to think about signing up for my board member tier. Uh, not only do board members get access to the board member tier itself, uh, but you also get access to every other package that I offer as well. You get access to every single pick every single post that I put out on that website all the way through the end of February as well. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I'll tell you what, it's arguably the biggest day in, uh, in our community, the sports betting community, uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, the only uh, reason why I say it's arguably the biggest day is, well, uh, Opening day of March Madness is pretty big as well. So uh, it's up there, but this is like a big holiday in the sports betting community. Um, you could consider it either Christmas or Easter. I would say today's Christmas and then March Madness. You can compare that to like Easter. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Sunday to you. Happy Super Bowl Sunday to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at broadpage.com.